tech enthusiasts, I'm going to uh, describe here an algorithm for designing a battle module. What is a battle module, you might want to ask? That is a group of mechs or vehicles, like perhaps a lance, but it doesn't have to be a lance, that work well together. And then when you design armies for a certain battle value game, you can pull these kind of self self-supporting, self-consistent battle modules together that add up to the battle value that you're going to play at. So for example, let's say you're going to play a 12,000 battle value game and you've never designed an army for 12,000 battle value. Then it's going to be easy for you if you have a like an 8,000 battle value um, group of mechs and for example a 4,000 battle value group of vehicles that you just glue them together and say, okay, I will now have a 12,000 battle value army using these two um, groups that work well within themselves. So this is the idea of the battle module, that is a, a certain number of battle value that uh, you can kind of take from and glue together to create an arbitrary force. Um, sometimes you will want to have more vehicles or less vehicles or more mechs, less mechs, some VTOLs. So it's good to have a couple battle modules at various number levels, um, such as 1,000 in case you need to just get to some odd number, 2,000, 4,000, maybe 8,000, maybe 6,000 battle value or maybe even 5,000 battle value. And with those numbers, you can loot piecemeal bits together to create pretty much an arbitrary level of battle value. And it should be, a, it'll end up being a force that works reasonably well together because you will try to create each of these mod, each of these battle modules as self-functional uh, and self-supporting as possible. Um, that means also when you play, you'll kind of already know how your mechs are going to play because you'll keep these battle modules somewhat together So you since you already know how to play each one separately. And so when you play on a large game, you kind of already know which mechs will run aside, one run next to which other mechs. And instead of being a big chaos, you, in your own mind, know exactly what you need to do and how course to the enemy it'll just all look like a bunch of mechs and they can't tell that you have some battle modules going on on the table and yeah you have strategy involving these groups of mechs and things but to them it's just all just one big game they can't even tell that you're doing this thing um, so for example let's say you have you want to create a battle module that has 4,000 battle value which is a good convenient module so my rule, or my algorithm, is start with 35% of your total battle value. And in this case, this is 4,000, that's going to be 1,400 points. Um, and what can that get you? It can get you an awesome. Now you don't have to exactly, strictly stick to these percentages. Uh, but if you use these as guidelines, it'll get you some level of self-supporting groups. So this awesome is going to be your frontline brawler. Next you're going to um, want to have a guard of some kind for the brawler um, so, or a hunter of some kind. So I'm going to pick 45% of the remaining battle value which is now you already used up your awesome so you have to subtract that off and then with that extra battle value you'll, you'll pick for example a dragon. Now after that you'll have some remaining battle value left over and as a rule of thumb, you could choose up to 70% of that for your third mech. Um, but you could also like split it evenly and pick less. So I'll choose to split it evenly and pick two spiders. So now I've got the awesome, which is awesome. Um, a dragon, which is a, kind of a faster hunter type mech. And two spiders, which can act either as scouts or... Um, special missions mechs that can go behind enemy lines to go target their LRM carriers or something. Or you can use these spiders as bodyguards for both the, um, the dragon and the 
awesome if the dragon and the awesome were to choose to go off in separate paths instead of staying together. So instead of having the dragon be the bodyguard for the awesome, you can split them up too and have the spider go with each one and um, have two mini groups there. So this battle group, once you learn how to play this battle group or this battle module, um, you can just call upon it in future games just to pay. Hey, okay, I'm gonna pop out this this cluster, this battle module, and you can perhaps glue it on to um, another 4,000 point battle module, or perhaps even an 8,000 point battle module. Let's say an 8,000 point battle module that you might want might be, for example, two longbows, two archers, two LRM carriers, and like a Karnov transport that yeah, even though you don't have any infantry along with that particular 8,000 point battle module, you'll probably have some leftover points for infantry, so you'll kind of use that and transport around. Plus, you'll use it as a spotter for the LRMs as well. So yeah, that is, for example, an example of an 8,000 point battle value group. So you'll end up designing these groups and then you can uh, glue them together to make arbitrary mech combinations. If you enjoyed this video, please go hit the subscribe button at the uh, and that way I'll be motivated to make even more videos.